Little Mia was about to give last hug to her mom at her funeral. Right when she was about to open casket, she saw something and everything turned upside down. Little Mia's life was full of joy until she was nine years old. She lived with her mother, Emma, and her father, David, both of whom showered her with a great deal of love. Mia had also received an enormous inheritance from her late father, bringing her even more happiness. However, everything came crashing down when she unexpectedly lost her mother. While attending her mother's funeral, Mia witnessed something that made her scream, causing the funeral to be cut short. With her sharp vision, she was able to uncover a dreadful lie. This became the worst day of Mia's entire life. Her mother was placed inside the casket, and laid to rest it appeared as though the woman who had unrivaled beauty was sleeping. They made fun of her ghostly pallor and her delicate use of natural cosmetics which gave her face an angelic appearance. Beside the casket, two individuals wept uncontrollably, the woman's mother and the little girl's grandmother. The little girl herself had become an orphan due to her father's death in a workplace accident when she was only three years old. Now, she had lost her mother as well. Although she cherished her father, she had no memories of him as she was too young when he was alive. It was her mother's responsibility to tell her about the special bond they had. Her father had been a millionaire, as his parents owned a sausage farm, and he was an only child. Mia's parents had promised each other that they would have at least four children so that Mia could experience the joy of having siblings, as her father had never had any. Due to his financial situation, Mia's father had his cousin, Jack, the son of his mother's sister, living with him for some time. Jack considered his life to have been taken away when Emma and Thomas got married, as he had spent his entire life with Thomas. However, his uncle assured him that he would be treated as their own child from that point forward. The couple began their married life in their newly purchased home. However, Emma faced challenges conceiving due to multiple medical treatments. It was only after undergoing several treatments that they were finally able to fulfill their dream of becoming parents. Emma experienced a completely healthy pregnancy up until the final week, when she began to show signs of high blood pressure and ultimately needed to have a cesarean section to deliver her baby. After both mother and daughter recovered, Thomas approached his father, requesting assistance in taking care of them for the next 30 days. The truth was that Thomas was content, but a few months later, he received disheartening news. Emma started experiencing bradycardia, and after a series of tests, it was discovered that her heart was beating very slowly due to severe inflammation of her thyroid. Doctors advised them against having more children, as it would pose a grave danger to Emma's life. Thomas accepted the doctor's advice and grew even closer to Mia, realizing they would never have another child. Emma, although distressed, knew she had no choice but to accept the situation. Following that agonizing incident, two years of happiness passed for the family, with Mia as the center of their lives. However, one morning, tragedy struck when Thomas was out in the production warehouse. A boiler exploded, claiming the lives of three people, including Thomas, who was supervising the sausage production. The news devastated Emma's family and left her feeling hopeless and helpless. In the wake of the tragedy, Jack, Thomas's cousin, stepped up to the plate and took responsibility for caring for Mia as if she were his own daughter. Three years later, he married Emma, his cousin's widow, bringing joy to his aunt and uncle. They entrusted him with Thomas's former position in the sausage company, confident in his capabilities. Jack was a remarkable man and a loving father to Mia, filling the void left by Thomas's absence. He attended her school performances, helped her with homework while her mother worked at the shop she had opened to support themselves. On the day of the tragic event, Emma was meant to celebrate her 38th birthday with a grand party surrounded by friends and delicacies she had carefully chosen. She went to the bakery to ensure the sandwiches and cakes were up to her expectations. The founders of the company invited her to a preliminary tasting, and she asked Jack to accompany her. However, because he had another appointment scheduled, it was impossible for Jack to join her at the tasting. She got in her deluxe van and drove off in the direction she needed to go. But as she exited her vehicle with her bag in her hand, she was ambushed by a criminal who grabbed her by the waist and told her not to make any noise, 
because he had a gun and he could pull the trigger. Amanda informed the aggressor that he could take anything he wanted but please despair her life. She then was instructed by the aggressor to get back in the car, and the two of them drove off. Together all of this was captured by the bakery surveillance cameras as it happened the man kidnapped. Her drove her to the outskirts of the city, stole her stuff and then shot her in the abdomen which ultimately resulted in her death. A passerby, who happened to be walking through the neighborhood, heard a commotion and rushed to the scene. There, he discovered a woman in the process of passing away. Alongside her was an expensive handbag and an SUV. Realizing the woman had left her cell phone in the car, the passerby used it to contact emergency services. Once the authorities arrived to conduct their investigations, they concluded that it was a tragic outcome of a fight. The process was straightforward, and the situation was handled swiftly. At the funeral, Jack appeared to be in a state of extreme grief. People offered their sympathies to both Mia and him, as he struggled to contain his emotions. Despite his typically composed demeanor, he couldn't help but cry uncontrollably. Many felt compassion for him, realizing the depth of his pain, and some even believed that he was more affected than Mia. Throughout the funeral, Jack refused to part with the casket containing his wife, Amanda. It was as if he couldn't bear to let her go. However, when Mia returned from the cafeteria to bid farewell to her mother, she noticed something peculiar about her stepfather. She saw that he was wearing a ring on his finger, which startled her. As soon as she realized what had happened, she began to scream, bringing the funeral to a standstill. Everyone present, including close acquaintances, was shocked by this unexpected turn of events. In her outburst, Mia accused her stepfather of being responsible for her mother's death and questioned the origin of the ring. Jack, taken aback, struggled to find the right words. Eventually, he responded by saying that her mother had given him the ring, emphasizing the love she had for him and for both Mia and himself. Upon hearing this response, Mia immediately realized that her stepfather was the one responsible for her mother's death. She had given that ring to her mom on the day her mother passed away, and she had kept it hidden in a compartment of her mother's purse, planning to surprise her with it as a birthday present. Mia had never seen the ring herself, nor had she told her mother about it, intending to reveal it and share some treats with her in the following days. In that moment, Mia understood that her stepfather had not only taken her mother's life but also stolen her valuables, including the precious ring. A policeman who was a family friend happened to be present at the funeral and, upon learning of the situation, promptly arrested Jack. After a thorough investigation, it was concluded that Jack was indeed the murderer of Amanda. His intention was to continue serving as the executor of Mia's assets while attempting to eliminate her, thus keeping her wealth for himself. He was sentenced to spend the rest of his life behind bars. Mia now regularly visits her mother's grave at the cemetery to pay her respects. Her grandmother takes on the responsibility of watching over her, and she also visits her paternal grandfather and grandmother every other weekend. If you love the story, consider subscribing the channel, so we can bring more amazing videos like these to you. Check the videos on the screen, and support us by liking the video, commenting what you would like to share from your experience. See you in next one.